How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button if you guys do not miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. If you guys would also please head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. Sharing at least once a week whether it's the Call of Duty Battlefield Halo, Destiny 2. And of course if you guys have any movie shows or games you guys want me to cover here on the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about something that I don't think a lot of people realize as to what is going on with Star Wars and what is coming for the least the next foreseeable couple of years in terms of Star Wars content. Now, we do know for a fact it has been confirmed that the director of uh, Thor, Love and Thunder, and Thor Ragnarok is making a Star Wars movie and that it will be coming out next year late fall so far it's been confirmed and it also has been confirmed that it will take place after the ending of Star Wars 9 The Rise of Skywalker however uh, we have a big problem when it comes to the storytelling and mostly the storytelling in terms of the time period in which these upcoming projects are taking place. Now, what I mean by this is 99%, there is a small percentage, but 99% of the upcoming Star Wars content, whether that be shows, movies, games, books, novels, whatever you want, 99% of the upcoming Star Wars content that we are getting is going to either be pre-Revenge of the Sith, so before Order 66, or it's going to be pre A New Hope, so it's going to be showing the foundational work of the Rebellion and the Rebellion going up against the Empire in the early stages. The biggest problem that I, myself, a big Star Wars fan and lover, have with this is that we have explored this time period pre and post Revenge of the Sith a lot already in the past few years. We've gotten the entire seven seasons of The Clone Wars. We've gotten all four seasons of Star Wars Rebels. We've had uh, the Rogue One movie. We've had the Solo Star Wars movie. We've had Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 1. We've had Star Wars Visions, which has explored a little bit of post-Revenge of the Sith and some pre-Revenge of the Sith, and that's gone and done some other fun things, too. But except for basically The Mandalorian and Star Wars 7, 8, 9, we really have been stuck in this limbo of exploring the Clone Wars, and even with Rebels... The Rebel Show, it, it, it tied in with the Clone Wars era. We're still stuck in this limbo of that time period where we are dealing with that time period. And I am bored. As someone who loves the Clone Wars show and the Rebel Show and that, and that time period that it deals with, I am bored of it because there's only so much you can do when it comes to characters, stories, planets, and lore before you just start making it a bunch of references and easter eggs to past projects and teasing future ones. I want new stories. I want new characters, new planets, new lore in other time periods. I want to see an old Republic show and an old you know, Republic movie series that takes place before The Phantom Menace. I want to see things like what happened in between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back, or between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. We seem to be stuck in this limbo at the Clone Wars, the Rebels area, and then we're finally starting to get a little more of post Rise of Skywalker, and a little bit of post uh, Return of the Jedi with The Mandalorian. But everything that's upcoming whether that be Star Wars Rogue Squadron, the Andor show, which is basically a prequel to 
the Rogue One movie, so I know that Andor and a bunch of other characters that may show up in the show, they're going to be safe from being killed off. The Ahsoka show is basically going to be Star Wars Rebels 2.0 with um, live action appearances of Sabine Wren and Ezra Bridger and Grand Admiral Thrawn already confirmed. We're getting a Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 2. <laughs> We're getting the uh, Jedi Fallen Order Survivor game, the sequel to the original Fallen Order. We're getting Tales from the Jedi, so we get to see Count Dooku and Ahsoka and Qui-Gon Jinn uh, post, I'm sorry, pre-Attack uh, of the Clones. At least that's the time period that we haven't literally seen, but we know those characters aren't going to get killed off, so that's a problem when it comes to the storytelling. I'm more excited for things like The Mandalorian Season 3 and Star Wars Vision Season 2 because at least those shows are going to be exploring new characters, new planets. Yeah, it's going to bring in some stuff from the past season and characters and stuff, but it's going to dive into, I'm hoping, new characters, new lore, new planets, new locations, new stuff. That's what Star Wars needs. Star Wars' biggest problem right now is that it keeps rehashing and retrending old ground and like it sprinkles in a few new ideas but not enough where I'm like I'm satisfied like at the time of me recording this right now I haven't even watched the Obi-Wan Kenobi show now you might be thinking what I don't care I don't want to know what Obi-Wan Kenobi was doing on Tatooine while he's protecting Luke Skywalker from the Sith until he comes an age where he's needed to bring balance to the Force. I don't want to know what Obi-Wan Kenobi was doing. There's supposed to be a little bit of mystery and intrigue. Let the audience have an imagination. And it seems that Disney doesn't want that with Star Wars. Disney wants to explain everything to the audience instead of letting us have our own imagination and come up with our own unique stories. That's what makes, you know, playing with Lego sets, for example, so much fun is we can come up with our own stories when we're kids, and it just seems like the imagination for us to be able to have is getting shot out the window because we're having everything told to us as to what happened and what is canon and what is not, and I think that's a big problem, and a big, and then a, a big problem because of that is that we're just getting saturated with Clone Wars and rebels like content and we're not exploring new characters i have nothing against the clone wars or the rebels period those time periods i have a problem though is that we are just getting overwhelmed with content related to that time period like that is the biggest problem and i talked about this in my star wars the bad batch season one review is that it didn't feel unique enough. It just felt like a bunch of clone soldiers with superpowers trying to survive against the Empire, but it felt like Clone Wars and Rebels smashed together. I mean, even the art style looks like it. And it's like, okay, it's not really unique enough to be warranted. I just felt like I was watching basically Clone Wars Season 8, and I have a big problem like with Bad Batch Season 2. It's going to be basically Clone Wars Season 9, and Ahsoka is going to be Rebels 2.0, the Andor is a prequel to Rogue One, and I'm just, I am bored. I am bored of them rehashing and retreading the old ground, and I think that leads into another problem where Disney doesn't know what to do with Star Wars that'll please fans and not upset them. They don't know how to create unique and interesting characters and stories and planets and lore that old fans can appreciate and new fans can jump on board with and enjoy at the same time. They don't know how to balance that. Like they they made a success with Mandalorian, but what else can Disney do? What what else does Disney have up their sleeve when it comes to new, exciting, live-action Star Wars that's not going to upset the fan base like Star Wars The Last Jedi did. And I think right now for the next few years, they're kind of 
do damage control because of the sequel trilogy nightmare that they produced they're trying to do damage control and play it safe by giving us stuff that they know we as the star wars community and fandom will absorb and eat up and gobble without much thought and with the Star Wars Celebration happening for the past few days and me seeing all these trailers and announcements and stuff I'm just like where is the Mandalorian season 3 trailer where is something brand new groundbreaking that we really haven't seen that's not tied to some past character that we've seen or a sequel season where is the new invigorating Star Wars content yeah we're getting a bunch of Star Wars content which is great and people are going to eat it up like crazy but where's the uniqueness? Where is the groundbreaking story and characters and lore and planets? Like, I, I don't want to see another desert planet. <laughs> I want them to go out there and craft something spectacular and new and interesting that everyone can enjoy. Make something new, please. That's the bigger problem with Star Wars right now is that we're not getting anything new and that is a big problem we are rehashing old stuff and we're not getting hardly anything new so let me know in the comment section guys do you guys agree or disagree with me on this commentary and uh, let me know what show are you guys looking forward to most or what star wars project are you looking forward to most and uh you guys have a great day i'll see you guys in the next video or stream May the force be with you, always.